Hello and welcome back to Oliver's Greenhouse. Sorry I haven't been, uh, I haven't put any content out in a little while, it's kind of been a bit busy and it's getting dark a lot now so as soon as I get home usually it's pitch black so it, it limits filming as I mo do most of them here in the kitchen. It's just a quick video today um, and before we go any further with the video, to whoever it was that I was bidding against on eBay for this item, I am truly sorry. Um, but not that sorry because uh, I got what I wanted which is excellent and uh, it's a new orchid for the greenhouse you know how I like weird and wonderful orchids it's a very weird and wonderful orchid in this case it's Pluritalis shidei shidei? shidei? let's have a little look Pluritalis shidei is what it's called and uh, it's, come, it's come from a, a seller on ebay mounted on a piece of cork uh, mounted on is that upside down or up what? I, I don't know Anyway, so it's got about 20 grows on it. Uh, I read up a little bit on it. It comes from altitudes of about 800 uh, meters. Uh, and it's in endemic places like Mexico and Guatemala. Um, doesn't look like much. Um, it looks really like a little upside down Mastervalia, but produces the most unreal flowers. These flowers are just, as soon as I saw them, I was like, I have to own this. Uh, regardless of cost, I, I must own this orchid. So. It ended up as quite a bloody minded eBay battle over it, but uh, we got it and not, not a ridiculous price. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I'll put some pictures of this um, in the video so you can see those uh, and, and see what I mean. And you'll probably understand why I wanted it so badly. For those of you that already grow this, um, I'd love to hear about it. So please stick them down in the comments section down below because I'd love to know about your culture, uh, certainly your growing conditions for this plant. Um, so. I think it's a call to intermediate, I think it likes dappled shade, so I think it's going to be okay in the greenhouse. Um, but like I say, if any of you guys are growing this, love to hear from you. Um, upcoming content or upcoming videos, um, re I've had the reoccurring comments that I know the sound quality hasn't been very good on some of my videos. Um, I think that's predominantly the recording rig or the camera I've been using. Um, so actually on this video I'm actually using my phone. So. What I did is I got a, 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 a 128GB SD card um, and thought, well, this is a pretty good phone. Um, it's got a good camera on it. Um, it actually we will record in 4K uh, if I want it to. Um, so I thought I'd try it out. A lot of people have said a lot of positive things about the audio on this thing, especially when recording. So um, I thought I'd give that a go. We'll upload this. What I'm going to do is this weekend, I'm working both days this weekend, so I'm going to be busy. Um, hopefully I have a bit of time on Sunday. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record the intro to Oliver's Greenhouse YouTube channel and I'm going to record it on both my phone and I'm going to record it on my old camera okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, 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 the videos back to back to sequence them together I'm going to get you guys to vote so I'll put a poll on it that will pop up uh, at, the, at the bottom of the video uh, and you'll be able to vote in either which one you like the first video or the second video and depending on which, whichever one you guys choose um, I'll, um, I'll, I'll adopt that that format for recording all my future videos. So um, stay tuned to see some pictures of this. Uh, thanks for tuning in um, and don't forget to like and subscribe.